All right, so this is the last part of this coming around the barn. If you see the other video, I did all that, planted the grass, got the stone set. I did have a big pile of dirt here. I did get that dug out. And if you can tell, I got my spouting up on this side, up around, and then I got my drain pipe run down through here. I actually started filling some of this back in. I'm digging that hole and actually if you look there's a little bit of grass seed if you can see it we got this out through to here we got all this dug out we're gonna lay some uh, I got a little bit of digging I got to do over here to get that part connected and then I'm gonna get the geo laid in here and start filling this in with some rock and then lay the lay the across the top now the way this is I'm not quite sure how I want to do this because I got to tie that in so I got to dig that out a little bit and stick a little bit of stone there but I need to at least geo this and geo that but I got to I'm worrying about where I'm coming out this way with my driveway so I have to figure that part out but I'm gonna grab the Kubota a shovel and a tape measure so we can get this stuff cut and we'll get it in Alright, so you've seen, we uh, basically got it all filled back in. I think down here, because I have a water line here that's buried basically here because grass didn't grow yet. I'm just going to uh, come in here and I'm going to lay a piece down this way and then I'll fill the rest of this pit and then I can fold that over and uh, pretty much end this here and then I'll get a piece of geo down there but I gotta clear a little bit of dirt out along that edge here you can see it and then I gotta decide how I want to incorporate in this and I have to run the power wire over for the fence under the ground so that's where we're at Need to figure out how I want to do this over here. 
right now. Because I think I might just take this and put it on a turn here. And then I can bank that down. And I can dig this some. And then I can put some stone in here. It's just it's so, so much of a hill right here. So I'm going to kind of have to do that right here also. And get this banked out. So, I don't know. Hopefully she gets ha she's happy with it. But I still want to retain enough of a flat area in case you want to drive that vehicle through here on this flat area. And then down onto the driveway or like I said up because I left enough room on the tree line. And not only that, you could get up in here and turn and drive up around into there if you would need to. All right, so after about, um, I don't know, we'll just say like three and a half hours, I actually went and got some lunch. This does look a little bit different, you can tell. I got, uh, this is the opening that's going to come out through. I'm about 12 foot. <laughs> I got it wrapped in around here like this. And the pit will be fine in the middle. This is going to get covered with all geo in here. My only part right now that I got to figure out is how I want to tie the entrance way in going up into the field here for the horses when they come across. So anyway, like the driveway will come out through here, but right here I'm going to take, and this will be curved, but the driveway would basically be like right through here. So I mean this little bit here isn't really going to matter. Not only that, if you're coming back through here with a trailer. You can stay over this way, and you'll have enough room to cut out around and go around with the trailer, which, which is kind of the goal here. So, looks like i got to take a little bit more down here. And if you're looking, it does kind of go on an upward hill here. Well, this is level coming out through here. Alright. Now this area right here, that's kind of where a natural, either a natural swale was or they put it in. So we're trying to retain that. Then we're going to come up here and right through here, we're, we'll knock that down about four inches and take the driveway out through when it comes time to fill it in. So the battery on here is about ready to die, but this is what we got accomplished today. Um, like I said, I had the pit dug, so basically pretty much seeing where I started off. I got a lot of the stone spread. You can kind of see here now with the way I got this coming around here. I'm trying to look in the camera so I can see where I'm pointing. There we go. Yep. Right in there, we need to wrap that around. And then I'll cover this up to, up to probably right here. 
because that's where the level is and then I can seed the rest of this stuff. I'm going to be digging this out right here and I'll be actually putting some stone in and I'm going to level it off and try to make it so that the water doesn't come down out through this gate because that's what it looked like it was doing the last time we had a decent rain. I mean, it's hard to keep anything on a horse pasture when there's nothing nothing there to suck it up, but when they're on this all the time, that's that's just how it is. It's what it looks like. So, but yeah. I mean, this worked out really well. I mean, this time driving on the Geo on dry ground, you know, if it was dry that day when I first started spreading this, I think I would have had some really good luck because nothing mushed down. I'm a little thick with my stone here, but I believe I got I got enough stone. I can I can fill this in. I need to put a little bit more there in that corner to bring that up. But man, this is really going to look nice. All right, I just wanted to uh, basically finish this off and uh, give these guys a look of what what this looks like here since I got everything in and shaped. I'm looking at about uh, 12 foot right here for our driveway where it's going to come out. Not really happy with the way this hill is here, but with the way everything was, it was kind of the best way to do it. But uh, we got all the stone in here, all the way up around. Actually had a horse fence electric wire runs to that post. I run that in under and buried it. So everything's kind of spread out. Everything's all seeded. I need to get a little bit more straw here to throw down on this side, but some of the grass from the other week when I had uh, seeded this is actually coming up pretty decent. I mean, it's been a couple days since we had some rain, but we got some uh, some good uh, moist mornings. This all came in pretty good down through here. <coughs> so there you go. This actually uh, worked out pretty good. I think it'll look really good once everything starts coming in. And we go from there. But hey, thanks for watching uh, every step of this project. It's not entirely finished. But this was a good chunk of it. Now we're going to go. And the next part here, we'll probably take and get our driveway out through, right through here. Is where the driveway is going to go. I'm going to cut out near the fence and go out through. But I got a little bit more fence I got to add down there. So, hey, thanks for watching.